Hey guys, so making this little video right here to give a comment about Download Festival. I started my trip here in Australia with Download Festival. First edition here in Melbourne was a great time that I had. Uh, paid for my ticket and everything. Uh, this time is a little bit different. I'm going to download once again, but I am volunteering to get my ticket, so that's pretty neat. I'll do that this week on Friday. Uh, then get my tickets and go to that pretty cool festival. Lineup is pretty dope. Uh, Ozzy was supposed to be headline, but had to cancel for health reason. I mean, you know, it's Ozzy, so better cancel than seeing him on stage, not really alive or almost. Anyway, so uh, end up being headline with Slayer, Judas Priest. Alice in Chains, Ghost, Rise Again, I'm just sitting in here, Sum 41. It's actually one of the fun facts and one of the reasons I really wanted to do that festival is because I'll get to see Slayer, Ghost, um, Pennywise and Hailstorm and for those four bands I'll have seen on three different continents. <laughs> because it's overheating it turns off because I'm at a battery I'm such a freaking amateur anyways let's get back to it uh, lineup I'm really happy about as I said uh, those four bands that I'll have seen on three different continents uh, rest of it airborne uh, actually a local band that I've, uh, I'm definitely gonna check out because I've heard great stuff about it a uh, whole bunch of things anthrax I prevail behemoth uh etc etc i'm also gonna probably check if i get there early enough new year's day and alien weaponry new year's day you know i like a uh, female fronted band so definitely gonna check that devil skin i've actually seen them in new zealand uh so if i have time and they're not colliding with anything else i'll check them out about colliding let's get me to the set times that have been announced a little bit earlier this week uh, I am quite upset about the fact that Slayer, Ghost, Hailstorm are playing at the same time. So seeing three, so three of those bands are gonna. Well, I want. I really want to see them because you know the three different continent thing that I just talked about. So Slayer starts a little bit earlier, so I'll definitely get to see about half of their set. Then I am thinking about like yeah keep ah it's just really tricky because uh, then ghost starts and then a couple minutes later fifteen minutes later five minutes later hailstorm starts I've seen ghost not long ago in New York so I'm probably not gonna stay that long for ghost and their festival performance I mean uh, it's not as good. So what I'm probably gonna do is do Slayer, check Ghost from like afar a little bit and then uh, go to see Hailstorm. Hailstorm I'm expecting, they're like on that two stage, so probably on the side and will not be very crowded. So most people will be checking Slayer and Ghost, I'm guessing. So I'll be able to check Hailstorm in a quite intimate conditions which is nice since I haven't seen them in a while so the one of the reasons why I checked the because this year it's also happening in Sydney one of the reason why their schedule is so tight and so like all things at the same time is partly because they have to stop at 10 p.m. which in Sydney because it's it's not in actual Sydney it's kind of like outside the city they can go until 11. My solution, so just suggesting a solution, starts at 11 of starting at 12. You'll even get some people to eat food by arriving earlier. 
No, like starting your festival at 12 p.m. when you have so many bands and so much stuff. In my opinion, my humble opinion, there's probably some reasons for that, but not a great idea. So yeah, that's kind of a pain for me. But let's check the rest. Yeah, New Year's Day, I'm probably gonna arrive early enough and go check them out. Hopefully there's not too much of a line. Last year there was a massive line, it took forever. Um, uh, yeah, then Airborne, yeah, cool, uh, you don't see, I put them, and Behemoth, I'm just telling about the bands that I'm gonna probably check, uh, Converge or Anthrax, I'm not really sure yet, but probably Anthrax, because I think I've seen Converge at some other point, uh, probably gonna check Island Web uh, Alien Weaponry because I've heard great stuff about them. They're from New Zealand. Then switch to Rise Against or part of it. Pennywise. Pennywise is actually funny because it's a band that I don't listen to much. I don't follow much. I know some of their songs, but I've seen them at my very very first festival when I was fourteen. Uh, there was then some 41 and then Limbiscuit. Uh And then, years later, I think like 10 years later, probably about that, yeah, about 10 years later, uh, when I was in Montreal, I went to see a Pennywise concert and just like introduced some people to each other, which was pretty fun. Uh, getting people to know each other, like from people I didn't know from Facebook, that some people have met at parties and things like that. So that was... A fun experience but just went there because I knew the name but didn't really follow the band and now I am here and I'm able to see them on three continents even though I don't follow them that, that much but yeah that'll be fun so Pennywise a little bit of Alice in Chains uh, I've, I, I, Judas Priest and Sum 41 are playing at the same time and I'm kind of like split so probably Devil Skin up is like all the way down. I might show you the anyways. Uh I'm probably gonna skip on Devil Skin. I saw them in Christchurch. It was okay, but not the greatest thing. Not 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 what I enjoy the most. So uh Judas Priest and Psalm 41. I was curious about Judas Priest. I know a bunch of their songs of their songs. I've never seen them live. I feel like I'm gonna have a lot more fun at Psalm 41. Plus, it finishes earlier and I can get to Slayer, see like the end of Judas Priest from the side, I'm guessing. That's probably gonna be the right solution. Then Slayer, a little bit of Ghost, not much, and Hailstorm. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Uh, I guess if I had been in Sydney, it would have been easier to see all of that. But I'm gonna make the most of it. Another fun thing is that right after that festival, uh, I'm basically going back to my hostel, picking up my stuff right to the airport. Because I'm flying to Shanghai. So yeah, I'm uh, gonna make a good video also about that festival. We'll probably have to do that video in Shanghai or while I'm waiting for the plane and things like that in the airport or yeah yeah that's gonna be fun uh, yeah that's me coming to an end here in Australia uh, my pro probably my last video about Australia uh, I, there's actually one that I want to do about why I didn't buy a motorbike here tell me if it's interesting to you if you want to know why I didn't buy a motorbike here uh, because I did it in Canada, I did it in New Zealand. Why? Why? Uh, if you want to know about that, tell me. But yeah, that's this video and then the the actual video about download will probably be some of my last videos about Australia. So I hope you enjoyed this trip uh, and you're gonna keep checking my adventures in Shanghai and in Europe. I'll try to keep doing as much concert as I can and have fun. Thanks for watching. Remember that if it's easy, it's not funny. And see you in the next one.